got to see again, see some guys make some plays, and then we had uh, way too many penalties, you know, way too many penalties. Too many guys that, uh, you know, not playing smart in this situation. Defense kind of took it, and Charlotte, who do you think stood out to you this one? Yeah, I think, the, again, I think the defense stood out again today and made some plays, and they gave up a few plays that they can't give up. But I, I thought overall, I thought they played pretty well and played hard. Seeing a lot of different bodies subbing in, you feel pretty comfortable with the depth considering this point of the year? I don't know if I feel comfortable with yeah. it, but we're, we're trying to create as much depth as possible. If you look at the guys, we're getting a lot of guys some reps that, you know, have never had reps before, and so we're trying to build some depth with, at each position. Coach, you the care of it. What does this do for your school coming out to the community like this? For us, it's it's uh, it's an opportunity to go on the road. I mean, you know, and that's the way we, we treat this is, uh, I mean, we've got a game on the road, and so they've got to go to a new place, uh, you know, a new locker room, a new field, all those things. And then for, for everybody else, it's a chance to get in front of our fans in this area. It's a, it's, it's a chance to get in front of the high school coaches in this area that do such a great job. And then the uh, high school players that are around here. Do you get a lot of feedback from that? Because I heard people in the, the crowd saying, you know, they appreciate you guys. Yeah, I think, I think people are excited about when we move uh, on the, and go on the road, you know, and they get a chance to see what these guys are doing in the spring and how hard they're working. TJ was a local guy for us. We covered him in high school. Just comment about him. Yeah, he's making progress, you know. He's still a freshman. I mean, it's hard to think of as much as he played last year. He's still a freshman in college. And uh, so he's still got a lot to learn, and he's, he's getting better every day, and he's got uh, he's going to be a really good player. Where do things stand right now with the quarterback situation? Uh, you know, right now, Marquise would still be taking the reps with the ones right now. But we haven't uh, we haven't done anything. I mean, those guys are still competing, just like we are at left tackle and right guard and, and you know left defensive end, all those things. I mean, we're we're trying to create as much competition at every you know every position on the field that we have. What positives you see out of the offensive line today? Uh, we I mean we they, we moved the ball in some good you know there were some situations where we moved the ball and we made some plays and then we you know we had enough penalties in the offensive line to to. to you know, you, you can't be, uh, you, you don't have any continuity when you do that. So you, you keep shooting yourself in the foot, and you're going to go backwards all the time. A lot of barking between offense and defense. Do you like that feistiness? Oh, in, the, in spring especially. You know, you're, we're, trying to, we're trying to get these guys, I mean, you know, the thing that I don't have to do is I don't have to get them to compete. I mean, they're, they're, they're getting after it. They're getting after each other, and then you see them afterwards, they love each other. I mean, that's just, when they're out there on the field, though, they're going to get after each other. And, and yeah, we want that.